We've been all over the world with you this year. So for our 2023 holiday video, we thought we'd show you some of our favorite spots from the place we call home, Prague. I'm standing here in the ISP offices in the Karlin district. This area has a special place in my heart. When I first came to Prague, this is where I stepped in. And before I went to the old town, I fell in love with this place. This is where my best friends live and where I have the most memories with them. And luckily, this is where I found my job and where I decided I want to be in the Czech Republic for the long run. I'm here in Stromovka Park. It's actually the largest park in Prague. It's 250 acres, so it's massive. Uh, and there's so much you can do here. You can just relax in the park. There's live music in the summers. There's a ton of cafes. Uh, you can go to the planetarium. I do a lot of training here. Um, so. Whenever I'm ready for a marathon, I come here and I just run around the park uh, and it's lovely. Naplavka or this area in general not only reminds me of my early days at ISP, but it is also a place where I usually meet with my friends. I love this vibrant spot with bistro boats and charming coffee places. It's a great location to relax, go for a bike ride, walk, or simply sit on a bench with lovely company, all while taking in the beautiful views of the Obletava River and the Prague Castle. This is Vyšehrad, and this is a very special place to me. This is a 10th century fort on a hill that is three kilometers from the main castle. I like this place because there are a lot of dog walkers and creative people, and most importantly, that's one of the places that my mom loves when she's visiting Prague. So we are in Letná Park. Uh, this place used to be called Stalin, uh, not anymore. Right now this place represents freedom, artistry, a uh, place for a lot of parties. And this is the place where I actually come to think, get inspired and basically clear my head. We're at the National Technical Museum in Prague. It's a lesser known museum. There's a big showcase of Czech technical achievements. Anything from manufacturing to steam trains. I love visiting this place. I visit with my kids and uh, my parents used to take me here when I was a kid. If you are looking for a cozy, non-commercial, festive market around holiday season, the Namiesti Miro is place to be. It's in a residential area of Prague with the beautiful buildings and architecture. So skip the crowds and come here to enjoy the mule twine and local crafts. Behind me, you can see Zizkov. It used to be the workers' area, but nowadays, probably mainly because a lot of students that have been living here, there is a location of the many restaurants, bar and a cool pubs. Definitely there is something to visit. It is a landmark that you can see behind me and it is the Zizko television tower, which is a controversial landmark. Somebody hates it and somebody loves it. You are definitely welcome to visit it once you are here. 